Hey, welcome back to Die Cash Cars. So with 2022 coming to a close, we're looking forward to 2023, and we have a number of spoilers and leaks out there, especially with all the exhibits over at the LA convention just this past October. We're getting a really good idea of what to expect come next year. So today I wanted to give you guys my top four most anticipated releases for 2023 as much as we know right now and I'm going to break it down by category and then also pick the exact release that I'm looking forward to in 2023 and then at the end I'm also going to give you guys a bonus one area of Hot Wheels releases that I'm actually a little bit disappointed in. Number four on the list is mainlines, and there's a lot of really good mainlines, first editions as well as recolors that are slated to come out in 2023. One of them that I saw was a red Honda Civic EF. It really does mimic the 2014 first edition. It just has a larger Civic logo down here on the bottom door. But Honda Civic EF is always a welcome addition to the collections. I'm also seeing images and leaks of a red Mazda RX-7 that looks a lot like the graphics that we saw from 2018. I always call this the Initial D RX-7 because it's got a carbon fiber hood and it's got these Japanese letters here on the side. But nonetheless, it looks like they just recolored this exact graphic but in red. But again, a welcome addition. Definitely need to add it to these two that I already have in the collection. The Zonda R, you guys know I've talked about this car quite a bit, but it does look like they do have another recolor in white coming up here for 2023. One thing I will point out about all these new sought after main lines is challenge yourself. Don't just look for a long card stock. Look for international cards. Look for short card variations because in the long run, I feel like they do have a little bit more value. And then moving on to some of the leaks that I saw from all the coverage at the LA convention, I did see a upcoming first edition of a Mitsubishi Evo 8. My guess is they're bringing this tooling into play because it'll definitely be a car that they could add to the Fast and the Furious collections, thinking specifically about the Evo 8 from Tokyo Drift. I also saw a very promising Mark II Toyota Supra concept at the LA convention. I'm hoping that this means that Hot Wheels is going to be giving us the complete lineage of the Toyota Supra. The only thing I ask of Hot Wheels is do it quick before you lose that Toyota license again. I'm also seeing all over social media a Nissan Patrol which looks pretty cool. It does have the same Motul graphics as the Nissan Maxima drift car. And another key attribute that they're looking to make a trend moving forward is the exposed engine or engine bits sticking out of the hood as they did with the Maxima drift. You can see it's got a clear hood. The one that I will say is my personal favorite, and this will be number four on the countdown is the Nissan Skyline R32 with the Godzilla graphics and I bring that one up because this car, this cast really does remind me of my childhood and I'm glad they're not doing away with it because we do know that they have a retool of the R32 cast but we know how legendary this cast is and I'm glad they're going to continue the saga with it. These currently right now, the original cast and some of the more earlier releases of this car are doing really well in the secondary market. This red one from 2011 is currently selling anywhere from $15 and $20. And the first edition from 2002 is selling pretty steadily at that $10 mark. So again, even from a collector side of things, these casts and this Skyline in particular, which led the way for the Skyline, has not yet been forgotten. Jumping over to premiums for 2023, what I am seeing in the upcoming Walmart exclusive Boulevard lineup, we got another 22B in yellow, as well as a Nissan Skyline ER34 Liberty Walk in white. Two casts that I know are very popular, and I'm definitely a big collector of these cars, as you guys know. I've said it time and time again, the 22B is definitely a cast that is picking up steam, guys. I know some of you guys laughed at me for having over 200 of the 22B first edition in blue, but guys, this cast is definitely taking off from a value standpoint, from a popularity standpoint, just overall awareness, so definitely keep it on your radar. 
And then taking a look at the car culture sets that are set to be released here in 2023. And I am referencing Hot Wheels Hunter dot com for all of these mixes i am seeing in mix 5 an alteza and a civic eg and a premium line and i don't know if you guys know this or not but the alteza from toyota has been released before but in this tuned hks race car version from way back in the day this is actually one of the cars i've had as a kid and i still have it to this day so definitely excited to see the alteza come back i'm guessing it's going to be a lot more stock form not necessarily this tuned racer version although it would be surprising if they brought this cast back in a premium format totally welcome on my end car culture mix six we're gonna see the toyota 4runner continued success for this cast it's always a sellout every time this car gets released so again welcome addition and this time a little bit of a spin but we're also going to get the luxury version of it so the lexus gx 460 will also be released so it'll be nice to see the pair together and then going all the way to mix 8 2023 we're going to see a good array of jdm cars you got the 400z coming out in premium again first time we've seen that was in the target two pack exclusives we got a GR Corolla, which is going to be very interesting. Even in real life, that car is getting a lot of buzz right now coming into the U.S. market as a three-cylinder all-wheel drive turbo car. That's just going to be a crazy pocket rocket. And then you got the Q60, which is essentially the Infiniti luxury version of the Nissan Z. So going to be nice to see those two also in tandem, similar to the 4Runner and the GX460. And then taking a look at Fast and Furious Premium, which is going to be breaking off from car culture going into 2023. We're going to see the first wave of Fast and Furious. It's going to be a decent set. You got two cars that I think really stand out. The first being the Nissan Skyline R34 that does have the Toyota Super graphics from Fast and Furious 1. That'll be an interesting spin on things. I kind of wish they went with a full theme where all the cars got mixed match graphics, but one car is better than nothing and then the other car that i think is even more of a standout is gal gadot giselle from fast and furious is porsche from the first time she was entered into the fast and the furious universe a welcome addition because she is a very popular character on the movie franchise and it'll be the second time that we see a porsche in the fast and furious lineup i believe the first one and only one that we've seen up to this point is this porsche 911 gt3 rs but my most anticipated premium release coming up here for 2023 has to be the rebirth of speed machines and for one reason only bringing back the coal mold wheels i always thought these were such cool wheels even though they're not real riders they don't have rubber tires or anything like that but just from a pure play standpoint i always felt like these wheels they just look fast right i don't know if that's necessarily true i don't know if anybody's ever done a race comparison but i always thought this was going to be the direction that hot wheels was going to be going with the wheels moving forward and then they did away with them canceled them but super happy to have them back the speed machines lineup is also going to be a welcome addition to everybody's collection at this point the original speed machines lineup is just well out of our grasp I and mean, we're talking 300 dollars plus for any of the big three thinking about the zamac ferrari 599xx you got the bugatti veyron that i believe latest sales are around the 100 to 150 dollar range and then my all-time favorite when it comes to speed machines is the Lamborghini Murcielago SV, which is just unobtainable right now at the $200 price point every time it's listed. The next category here is around promotional and event cars and 2023 is going to be a good one. Just taking a look at some of the leaks that we've seen from the Malin promotion cars. I'm seeing a Zamac Firebird. And also a Nissan hard body in a Spectre Flame purple, as well as a Porsche GT2, which I know is going to be super popular among all the Porsche collectors. But the number one promotional car coming out of 2023 has to be the Legends Tour Honda S2000 exclusive car. It can only be purchased at the event or the online events that are going to take place throughout the year. Essentially this car right here, but in purple Spectre Flame and no TH logo. 
it's going to be a good one to get at the Legends Tour event next year, and I'm happy to see that they're continuing on with the Ryu Asada tribute, this being one of his major releases in his time. And it's no surprise that the best release coming out of 2023 is going to be from RLC, another year chock full of great releases. I'm seeing a VW Bug and Spectral Flame Blue with a very clever Kawabugga livery i'm seeing some lowrider cars a truck this time with the rotating bed at the convention there was displayed a very raw prototype of a mclaren f1 with the butterfly doors there was a very sleek shadow chrome datsun 240z that's based off of sun king's 240z opening hood it's got the RB motor inside, a bunch of black accents, the most notable being the side stripes on the side that I feel like pay homage to BRE. But the number one release coming out of 2023 that I've seen so far, it's actually a tie. It's going to be between this DC2 Acura Integra Type R with a JDM front end with opening hood coming through RLC as well as this Acura NSX with working lights. I mean, those two, great combination together, but I think they share that number one spot because they are gonna be highly sought after. Again, another reason to have multiple accounts through RLC going into 2023. I'm just thinking about from a value standpoint, you can say that the most expensive RLC release out of 2022 had to be the Nismo R34 that currently right now sells for anywhere from 80 to $100. That DC2 and that NSX with the working lights, I'm guessing they'll follow at least $100 if not more. And the long term value on these cars is unimaginable. I mean, sky's the limit when it comes to these highly detailed RLC pieces. And then there's the bonus category. The biggest disappointment that I'm seeing so far for 2023 has to be the Super Treasure Hunts. There is nothing to write home about from what I've seen. And we've seen eight Super Treasure Hunts leaked already. Out of the eight case for 2023, I'm seeing a Toon Batmobile, which is a pretty cool cast. It was the first edition coming out in 2022. But again, I think the hype really died down on that cast and to see it as a super treasure hunt i feel like it's just a wasted spot then jumping into a mercedes benz sl again no opening features it's all red it even has red rims just kind of throws me off doesn't give you that elegant feeling when you think about mercedes the one jdm cast that we've seen in super treasure hunt form to this point is a mazda cosmo which Again, I can respect it for what it is, but definitely not a popular cast that's going to be sought after or that anybody in particular really collects. And just looking at eBay, you can see a number of these backdoor supers already being sold in loose format. I'm looking at a Copo Camaro that's around $50 from the R Car series. Again, it looks nice. It's got some appeal, but nothing I'm going to be running around like a madman trying to acquire there is an all red lotus avija currently selling in loose format for 35 dollars i'm seeing leaked images of the gas monkey garage corvette i am a fan of this cast but i really do like it in its original color which is gold and this brownish color and being a super treasure hunt Again, just not a fan. And then from the convention, we were seeing on the projection a Shelby GT500 muscle car. I feel like Mustangs are always in the Super Treasure Hunt sets. And a Mercury Cyclone Comet Gasser. Again, a nice addition. Good variety, but I don't feel like it's going to be very popular. Again, just looking at these first eight Super Treasure Hunts for 2023, and that is half of the Supers that we're going to see next year. I don't see one that's going to be over a $50 mark. The majority of these are going to be in that $30 to $40 range. So yeah, at this rate, Super Treasure Hunts for 2023 is pretty disappointing. With that, I will leave you guys with a close-up image of the best Super Treasure Hunt that we have seen here in 2022. Yes, that is the Honda Civic EK9 Type R. Hopefully, it'll give us some luck. Hopefully, the last seven Supers that we're going to see out of 2023 
are going to be comparable and are worth that value of upwards of $100 to $150, a lot like this EK9 Super. That's what I got for you guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think about upcoming releases here in 2023. Like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time on Die Cash Cars.